Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramni, and this is another episode of Mini How to Draw. Before we begin, I just want to say a few things. As usual, what you guys need is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pen so you can ink afterwards. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause at any time so you can catch up on your drawings. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And also, if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely fine as well. So having said all of that, let's get to the tutorial. For this link tutorial, we're going to draw him pretty much just up to the mid torso. So we're going to have our paper in landscape mode this time around. And let's get started. We're going to draw him right in the center. So we're going to start with a circle just near the very top of your page. I'm going to draw it about this big. Of course, that's going to be part of his head. So we're going to bring these two sides down as usual. And we're going to make it rather narrow for anime or for yeah, these, um, for link anyway, the He's got a very narrow, almost feminine-like uh, features, so that's what we're going to do. His face is going to slightly look uh, to our left here, so we're also going to make it so that his chin is not quite at the center, and it's, so it's a little bit uh, closer to this side. And you notice that this curve right here is shorter than this one right here. Okay, so there's that. You might want to draw these lightly, uh, just so that you can erase them a lot easier later on. These are Most of these are guidelines. Okay, let's draw the neck going down. And then let's draw the hood that goes over his head. And we're going to start right here. What we're going to do is draw a curve like this at that point. And you want to bring this one out, sort of out like that. And this one, let's bring it down to here. So let's just don't draw a straight line. Let's just pretend it's fabric. So it's a kind of wavy. Okay, let's draw the neck down. And just below the neck, we're going to have where the, the cloak where the hood meets. So I'm going to draw this kind of like a V shape, a wide V right there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to create a triangle with the hood or just the opening of it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just very lightly for now, draw that and similar here, just like that. Okay. Now we're going to, well, let's draw this line that goes down Link's face. And this is the center line for his face right there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to erase the bottom part of that circle just so that it makes it easier for us later on. Okay. Now let's draw from here. I'm going to draw a line that goes up like this and it's actually part of the hood on the outside and it goes out this way. Okay. Over here, same thing, a uh, line going this way. And then from here, okay, see this curve right here. Now we're going to bring it up towards the side of the head like that. Now let's go back over here. On this curve now, we're going to kind of just bring that up like that. So we've got this one line going up like that. Let's go up at the top. Kind of just a curved line above the head. And that's where we're going to put the hood. Okay, and it meets this line here. But it also comes out this way like that. All right. Now let's go back over here. You see this curve that we did here. Let's make a curve that goes out this way and up to there. But we're going to have a little tail and it goes out like that. So this is essentially the hood shape. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to draw this, another line going down like that. Okay. Now let's, uh, well, let's draw the, the shoulders and then we'll figure out how this hood kind of fits in with the rest of the body. Okay. So here we're going to draw the other part of the neck and we're going to draw the shoulder going out this way and this way. I'm just going to draw the lines for now. Of course, they're not going to be that big. That's way too big. And right where the hood drops, that should be one shoulder. And over here, a little bit past this should be the other shoulder. And it should go right around here. Okay, so here we have the shoulders. Now, the body itself is actually going to be going down this way. So from here, just draw a line going straight down. You'll notice that it's this is uh, smaller than this space right here. Okay, and you'll also notice that it's off right here. This is off center. And I just did that on purpose because the e reference drawing looked like that. Okay. Now from here, I'm going to draw a small little line going down and then we're going to go this way. And then you see where we have the shoulder here. We're going to cover that entire shoulder. We're going to go down this way and then curve that to make the shoulder. So it makes this shape right here. Okay. Same thing over here. We want this to go right about, well, here's the shoulder. Let's make this go this way like this. So from the shoulder going down, like that. Okay. We're going to extend this out as well. So it goes out like that. You want this to kind of align with that. So you want to make sure that they're about the same plane. So 
there you go. Now we're going to bring this going down all the way to here. What we should do, actually, is we should curve it up and out like this. Okay. Now we're going to bring this curve and, well, let's go over here. We're going to bring this down. And then you see this line right here? We meet that line right there. Okay. And then this line just sort of follows and just goes there. And right here, that's just the padding. So we're going to do that. So there's the cloak or the hood or the cape or whatever you call it. And now we've got the center of the body right here still. And at the top, we're going to draw a V shape right here. Like that. And this one, the one part of the V sort of goes underneath the, the cloak. And the other part stops right here and then goes this way. Imagine this being part of his shirt. So his shirt kind of goes like this. You don't have to draw this part, but that's just the top part of his shirt, the collar. All right, now from here, let's uh, start to draw the shirt actually. So let's uh, go over here now. And we're just gonna draw, Link has a very narrow body. So we're gonna find that narrow, narrow shape for his torso. We're gonna start over here and we're just gonna go down like that. And then over here, we'll start over here and goes down like again this is smaller than this and his shirt kind of just goes down doesn't really have a definite shape to it although you can make it a little bit more narrow on the waist going down all right and we're gonna have his waist is gonna be right around here okay now let's draw his shirt sleeve and it sort of just comes out here well, let's draw this line going out and then a small little line coming out here close that off and then the same thing over here start over here goes down and then right around the same area close that off like that okay now he's got he's got he's got a thing uh holster buckle something <laughs> That goes across his chest here. <laughs> Sorry, it's too early in the morning for me to be doing this. Um, so let's draw that. It's a strap. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so the strap goes from the shoulder here and goes all the way to the side. Around here, just above the waist, about this much. And what I do is I extend the top one a little longer and then I, um, and then I draw a line like this. Okay, now back here, right around here, we're going to bring this one down to this side. And it goes to about where this um, sleeve kind of meets the shirt part. It goes out that way. And then I draw another one going out this way. And then I draw the bottom one going, curving in. And the top one kind of just, I draw a line going straight down like that. Okay. Now over here, just below, just to the right of this center line, I draw a square right here. That's going to be for the buckle, but we'll do that later on. And then another, a smaller square. Actually, a rectangle right here, and then a line like this. Okay, now let's uh, start to draw skinny arms. So from here, imagine drawing a line going from the shoulder going down. So let's draw that line. Elbow is going to be right around here, here and here. So this is where the elbow is going to go. And then you just continue it going down like this, like that. Now let's go back here. Imagine. From here, the arm goes there and then goes out again like this. Okay, so we've pretty much got the gist of Link. Let's uh, draw the sword that's on his side here. And we want the sword to go pretty much from the shoulder going out that far. Okay, so first draw these two lines going to the side of his shoulder here and you want to make it so that it's narrower at the top and it sort of gradually gets wider as you go towards his shoulder <coughs> excuse me and right here you want to draw the hilt to that sword and you want to make sure that it's 90 degrees so here to here you want to make sure that it's a backwards l shape it's 90 degrees okay and then i draw another line right here so that's going to be the hilt of course part of the hilt is going to be covered by the hood so i'm only going to draw this part and it's going to go pretty much up to there the uh, sword itself, I'm going to draw a little uh, line right there. And then what I'm going to do is draw a circle like this, not quite at the center of it. And then I'll draw another half a circle right there. 
just shape that and it becomes the hilt and then I'll draw another circle right inside that circle. And that's the handle right there. Okay. So that's the sword. Now let's start to get into the details of Link's uh, head and body. Let's zoom in. Okay. I'm going to erase the part of the head that's going to be covered by the hood. I'm going to erase that part. And let's just focus on his head. Let's draw the top part of the eyes. It's going to be right around here. Okay, so about this distance from the top. And right here is going to be the bottom part of the eyes. Of course, he's drawn very anime-like. Here's the bottom part of the eyes. And let's draw the nose. The nose is going to go right around here. And then his mouth is just going to go from here. It's just going to go like this. And it's going to be a slight frown. So we're going to dip this end down a little bit. Okay. So it looks like that for now. And let's draw the nose, actually. We're going to go on this side of this uh, center line. We're going to go this way. It's going to go out like that. And then curves in to make that nose. Now let's draw two ovals uh, to indicate where the uh, eyes are going to go. So right around here. And for this one, right there. Of course, you want those ovals to touch the top line and the bottom line. And there you go. Let's give him some lines for now for the eyebrows. And let's draw the hair. Before I draw the hair, I'm going to erase the center line on the forehead. Okay. From here, just sort of goes down like this. And then goes back up like that. And then one little spiky part right here and goes up again like that. Okay, I'll draw another one from here going down to the point. Now from here, goes out to the top of the eyebrow. Make a little sharp, a sharp turn around and then goes to the side of the head like that. And then it goes up to the hood. So that looks like that. And now from here, go out towards the hood again. Now, here we're going to draw the, uh, we're going to draw his, what do you call it, his sideburns, you could call it. So here it goes down like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. From here it goes down, same length, and then go back up. And then the long, like long, longer sideburns, I guess. Um, right here, we can start it off right here. It goes down. And then here, it goes down. Now here, line like that. Another line like this. So that's all part of his hair. And then now here goes down this way. Here that way. And let's just draw two lines. One and one more right here too. Okay, so that's all part of his hair. And I can shade in this part. What I'm going to do later on is I'm going to color that uh, with my Sharpie. Just shade that in black for later on. Okay, let's go back over here to this uh, part of the hair. I'm going to go to from this tip, I'm going to go all the way up to the top there. And then this sort of goes up to the top as well. Here you go. And then one line going straight down there. And we'll leave it like that. Now let's actually start draw, drawing in his um, eyes. And I like to do the top part first. And the way that I do it is I'm going to start right here, kind of the center, like the center point of the eye. And I start to shape the the top of the eye, I curve it like this, and then I bring it down like this. Okay, so there's a little sharp point right there. So from here, I curve it going up there, and then a sharp point going down like that. Okay, now the bottom eye is going to have a smoother curve. I'm going to just draw a smooth line, a smooth curvy line. Like that. Okay, I'm going to try to find the center. Now I'm going to draw a circle. And that circle is going to be touching the top part of the eye, but not the bottom part. And it looks like that. And I draw another circle inside. And here's where it kind of gets detailed. I draw a little triangle that looks like a, a slice of pizza that I cut out of the circle. I draw it from there and then I shade that in and that's his eye. Now let's do the same thing on this side. So I start from here, do that curve and then at the edge here and make it I make it a little bit sharper like that 
Of course, this is narrower than this because the eye is slightly tilted. And then the bottom part is just going to be a little bit, a lot more curvy and a lot thinner. So you guys notice that the, the line up above is thicker than the line at the bottom. Okay, now let's draw the people. It goes like this. And then the circle inside looks more like an oval because of the way it's angled. And then the pizza shape, like that. And then just color that in, and it should look like that. Here you go, that's the face. I'm gonna draw another line down at the bottom for the lower lip, and that's Link right there. Again, usually Link is drawn with very feminine features, and to be honest with you, at first I thought Link was a girl. I'll be honest. This was a long time ago when I played the very first Legend of Zelda game, and Zelda actually came on in the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, which was a TV show from then. Okay, so now let's start shaping the hood. And I'm just gonna Fix that up. Fix this so that this goes like that. So here we have. Here we have the hood. Uh, his hood has some patterns on it. Let's draw some of that pattern. He's going to have a line going around the front opening. Actually, two lines. So that's one line right there. It's a little bit thick, actually. Let's draw a second one. So from here goes out to the top of, of the head. Kind of goes to the top of the head like this, and it kind of touches the first line that we did. And then it goes down like that. Now this one has some squiggles on it. That goes like that. It goes up. And then kind of just goes like that. And it does that several times. Here, it's a little flatter. And here, well, right here. Actually, it goes this way now. There we go. There you go. And then on the shoulder. That same line kind of just goes to the shoulder. So I'm going to draw this line from here to here. But I'm going to make it thick. So it looks like that. And you see it kind of underneath the hood. The hood covers part of this line. Now right here, we're going to have two lines going out. And then I make that same pattern that looks like this. So it's kind of, it makes like a, a J, you could say, or an L. Now over here, we'll do the same thing. Okay, here's that thick line. And then right around here, we'll make that same shape, but it goes out this way. So this makes a J, this one makes an L. Okay, now that same thick line goes down this way, and then this way, and then makes a little spike like that. Okay, now over here, goes down this way, it follows that curve, up to there, and then a little spike. It goes out like this to there. And that's how you have it. That's the tunic. Okay, let's go to the sword. And we're just going to draw some diagonal lines going down the hilt of the sword. And zigzag, just gonna zigzag the uh, edges of that so that it gives it that texture. So it looks like that. Okay, that one will leave the same. Now let's go to the torso. Let's start with a strap because it's what's in front of the shirt. Okay, here, this strap goes over, this strap goes over this strap right here. So we're gonna do that. Okay, right here is a center. And then I'm gonna double up on these lines, the side, on the side of the strap. It's the stitching, I guess you could say goes like that. Now over here in this square, I'm going to draw a little, a little rectangle like that first. And then this goes like this. Okay. 
Now you follow this, the strap lines like that. And well, actually you just continue it. So it looks like that. Raise that part. Okay. And then just reinforce those lines. And you want to double up on those lines. For this, you just do it like this. And then for added detail, you want to create those belt holes, one there and one here. All right. Okay, so over here, we're gonna have a string that sort of ties um, this side of the V to this side. And we're just gonna draw it like that once and then another one over here, one more right there. And over here, he's got some sort of pattern that looks like a sword. So let's draw that part first. So we're gonna draw a line going down underneath a strap like this. And it closes off right here. Okay, now from here, it goes out like that and then it comes down on both sides and it goes out again and then a line like that line over here it goes into the tunic and then it sort of goes up right there it goes into the tunic and then goes up the sides and then across like that so that's the general shape of it and i'm just kind of darkening it with my pencil. When I go over it with my ink, I'm actually going to make that a little bit lighter and add some more embellishment to it. But for now, that's that's a good, that's good enough, I'd say. All right, so here, let's just draw the side going down like this. I'm actually not going to draw this part. I'm going to keep that loose. Okay, here, let's draw the, the seam on the side of the shirt. Okay, now over here, we'll draw that same spike and a line that goes across is similar to this right here. And then one, one spike triangle, one spiky triangle. There you go. Okay, his sleeve, his sleeve is actually, a, well, he's got a long sleeve underneath the shirt. So let's draw kind of where it folds in the elbow part. So it kind of opens up or it widens right here. And it goes like that. And then here he's got some gauntlets and so we just continue going down like that. And for the gauntlets, we're just going to draw them going across or the pattern of it going across like that. And he's got some about this pattern that goes across his gauntlet like that. And another one here. And another one right here. You notice that the way that I'm drawing them is make sure that they're slightly off from each other so that they're not aligned. There you go. Same thing on the other side. Okay. Over here, little spiky thing with the lines going across. And then right here, we're just gonna draw one spiky triangle the other side. The other one is pretty much covered up. You can't really see it. And then Here's the, here's where the elbow fabric kind of gets um, bunched up. Okay. And then right around here, we're going to draw the gauntlet. This one's a little different because he's got some padding on this side. So let's draw a line going down like this, but then we're going to draw another line like that. Kind of extends out to the top, goes out like this, and then kind of just goes like that. So that's that and then it's got a strap from here to there like that okay draw a little square for the buckle and kind of where the strap ends right here I make this little curve and then in here I draw another square and a little rectangle shape so that it looks like a belt strap okay now let's uh Continue those lines going down. 
and that's it. Okay, and then same thing, same pattern. Goes down, up, down, and up. There you go. And I believe that's all we're going to do, you guys. So that's it. That is how you draw a link from the new Legend of Zelda game, Breath of the Wild. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And that is all the time that we have. Thank you for watching this video to the very end. If you are proud of your drawings, I would love to see it. So please go to the Google Plus community and post your artwork there for all of us to enjoy. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to do my tutorials or to make my videos, I have links to those in the description below. Clicking on those links helps to ensure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you guys subscribe. Here in this channel, I show you how to draw your favorite characters and easy to follow simple step-by-step -step instructions. So if you guys do like what you see, please hit that subscribe button below this video. And if you guys feel like being awesome and you want to support this channel even more, I have a support button that is on the main page of my channel. I have merchandise for sale, such as this shirt right here and this mug right here. Links to those in the description. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this video with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, Google Plus, and on my website, dry2.com, where you can download a coloring page of this tutorial and my other tutorials in this channel. Again, links below. Finally, thank you once again, and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.